few days ago, we got news that the NFL and 2K Sports were officially back in business and set to release multiple new NFL games starting as early as next year. A lot of people still seem very unclear about what that deal actually means, what type of games 2K Sports is actually allowed to make, and everything else in between. In this video, I'll be breaking all of that down for you as well as showing you what the next NFL 2K game will probably look like. Now when people think of NFL 2K, they typically picture ESPN NFL 2K5. This title is often referred to as the best football game of all time. Many call this game the best because they feel it had the best simulation experience of any football game ever. From the gameplay, to the franchise mode, to all of the options you had at your disposal to replicate real football as closely as possible. But that's not exactly what 2K Sports will be making this time around. At least not yet. There is still a chance for that type of game from 2K in the future and I'll get into that later on in the video. For now, let's talk about what we do know and what we can expect. 2K has made it clear that their deal with the NFL right now is based around them producing non-simulation NFL games. Now among talking about this in my announcement video a few days ago, which I'll have linked below, I noticed that many people in the comment section were confused as to what that even means. And to be honest, it could mean many different things. What is and what isn't considered simulation football in terms of replicating it in a video game has many gray areas. Madden is the exclusive creator currently of simulation NFL games and will remain that way until at least next year when that deal is up. Whether or not the NFL chooses to keep that deal exclusive with EA is something we won't know until that time. So what is simulation football? At its basic level, it's simply replicating what you see on Sunday. Now many would argue that Madden doesn't do this very well, but it's what they're attempting to do with their game series each year. It's 11 on 11 football, played with real football rules, real plays, real concepts, a full roster, and with player models that look as close to their real life counterparts as possible. Every Madden NFL game falls under this. The old NFL 2K games from the PS2 era fall under this. The old NCAA games fall under this. All Pro Football 2K8, while not a licensed NFL game, still falls under this from a gameplay perspective. Even indie games like Doug Flutie's Maximum Football are considered simulation games. While it's not as advanced or as polished as the big AAA titles, it's still attempting to replicate what you see in real life. However, games like NFL Blitz, NFL Street, Madden Arcade, and Mutant Football League are considered arcade style games. These games don't attempt to replicate professional football. These games are typically played 7 on 7 instead of 11 on 11. The rule sets are not the same, the rosters aren't the same, and the on-field action is usually a little bit more over the top and not as close to realistic as the simulation games. The player models are also not made to look accurate. They're usually much bigger and exaggerated than what real NFL players look like. Now the question is, do all of these things have to be true for the game to be non-simulation? That's where the gray area comes in. Technically, if your game is 7 on 7, it's automatically not simulation because real football is played 11 on 11. But if you're still playing by real NFL rules with real plays and player models, then it could also still technically be simulation because you're still trying to replicate the gameplay aspect of real football. I would say that 11 on 11 football is 100% out of the window, meaning 11 people on offense versus 11 people on defense on the field at the same time. What you're likely going to see is something more like 7 versus 7 or 3 versus 3 experiences. Real rule sets are also probably out of the window as well, as they've said these games are aimed at the casual audience. And player models, as we've come to know with arcade style games, are never going to look 100% authentic. But what is interesting is 2K said their new NFL games will have a heavy focus on depth and authenticity. So what that likely means is that anything that they're allowed to replicate, they're going to do it. It just depends on how much leeway they have with it. Now it's also very important to note that while 2K has a licensing deal with the NFL to use team names, logos, and stadiums, 
there was no mention of a licensing deal with the NFLPA, which stands for the NFL Players Association. This means there's currently, at least to our knowledge, no deal in place to use actual NFL players in the game. Now that doesn't mean that a deal will not get done in that department, but if there was already a deal in place, I'm more than sure it would have been mentioned because it is a very big deal and honestly a very big selling point for NFL fans. If that deal was already in place, you'd bet that they would have mentioned it. Now it could likely be that the NFL PA deal will come at a later date, seeing as the NFL and its players are currently working on a new collective bargaining agreement right now. And you'd have to think that 2K would really want no part of this deal if there weren't going to be able to use real NFL players. The whole point of this partnership is to further grow the NFL fan base. The NFL wants their name on a bunch more games out in the market. But without the players, you will lose the interest of many fans. Without NFL players, the games would have to be centered around creating your own custom character, which honestly wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. In fact, 2K did mention that these games will also aim to be social experiences, meaning you will interact with other gamers. Just look at what 2K does with their flagship NBA game and their modes like My Park and the Pro-Am. These modes don't use real NBA players, instead, everybody has their own created player and they team up together online to play against other gamers. These modes have been extremely successful for 2K, and I would imagine something like this will be implemented in at least one of their new NFL games over the next few years. The key here for many gamers will be how well these games perform. If the NFL sees that the hunger is there for more options, maybe they take the exclusive simulation deal off the table next year. Now to be fair, I do believe it's unlikely for that to happen, no matter how well these games sell, but it's worth noting that nothing is impossible, especially for a league that is currently willing to do almost anything to grow their brand. This is also why they're trying to extend the regular season, have extra playoff teams, and are playing more and more games outside of the United States every year. So now that we know all of this, and our expectations are a bit more limited, let's talk about what the next NFL 2K game will probably look like. Many speculate and rumors have definitely already been flying around, that we might see something similar to NBA Playgrounds. 2K bought the rights to this game after its first installment, and then launched the following title under the name NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. The best way to describe this game is a mix between NBA Jam and NBA Street. I'll just say, it's a very fun game to pick up and play, but it's the furthest thing from a simulation basketball game. Now it's been said that 2K has wanted to make an NFL game like this and I would assume like many others that the first game we see from them will look something like this. Probably 3 on 3, maybe it's 5 on 5, maybe even 7 on 7. We don't know the exact format, but we can safely assume it'll be this type of experience most likely. I would say a cross between this NBA Playgrounds game and kind of something that Madden did with the Madden Arcade game a few years back. Beyond that, I would assume we would get something like an NFL Street later down the line, as that would probably take longer to develop than a game that resembles NBA Playgrounds or Madden Arcade. Once we start getting to an NFL Street or something that resembles NBA 2K's My Park mode, then we're really cooking. These would still be arcade experiences, but they would be much more advanced. Another thing that has been asked about a lot is franchise mode. Many people know that 2K has always shined in this department, and a lot of simulation gamers would welcome a deep franchise mode even if it meant a little bit less on-field realism. This is why a lot of simulation gamers love maximum football. The on-field aspect isn't as polished due to the game being made by an indie developer, but their franchise or dynasty aspect of the game is quite deep. The question is, would we get a deep franchise mode in any of these new games? I don't think that it's out of the realm of possibility. 2K did say that depth was going to be a focus, so you could see some form of a franchise or at least a deep season mode integrated into some of these games. It won't be quite the same as anything you experienced in NFL 2K5, but it could potentially offer more options than what you see in current Madden. I don't think something like that is completely off the table. The fact is, there's been a huge void in the market overall for a long time when it comes to arcade style NFL games. I'm all for these returning and more importantly, I'm all for 2K getting their foot back in the door. 
because that's what this ultimately is. They're back in business with the NFL. If they show the NFL that they can bring them tons of money and grow the fan base, then you can start seeing the landscape of things potentially change. And this also gives EA Sports more of a reason than ever to go as hard as possible with the Madden series. While arcade games aren't a direct competition for simulation games, just the fact that 2K is back in business with the NFL is enough in my opinion. If this can motivate EA Sports more than ever, then we all win in the long run. Whether or not you're a fan of arcade football, there's no denying its place in the market and we haven't had any true games of that style in a long time. And while many people would argue that this only appeals to kids, I don't think that's true. Just look at games like Fortnite for example. When compared to regular shooters, it's definitely way more out there and more arcade-ish. And while yes, kids absolutely are obsessed with it, so are many adults. That's why it's so successful and still going strong, because both kids and adults love the game. There's just enough skill gap to make it competitive, but it's also easy enough to pick up and play for a casual gamer. When people think of arcade football, they're basically thinking of what arcade football meant in the PS2 era. But the fact is, things are much more advanced now. Arcade football today could be something very different than what we saw many years ago. I'm sure some of these new 2K games will be super arcadey and even mobile experiences, but you can bet that somewhere in that new batch of games, you'll have something of real substance with strategy involved. At this point, we still know very little in the grand scheme of things, and more information will definitely start flooding the internet in the coming months. I think for now, there's a lot to be excited about, and as more information does start to surface, we'll have a much better understanding of what exactly to expect. If you don't want to miss out on any of that news as it releases, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of that important news. Check out some of these other videos right here, and I will see you guys next time.